Human Organs Humans have organs in their body. Each organ does a special job. Draw a line to link the organ with its name. The first diagram is a heart. The second one is lungs. Third is a stomach. Fourth, brain. Fifth, intestines. This is how it's marked. It is useful to know where your organs are in your body. Draw these organs in the right place in the human body. The heart, lungs, brain, the stomach and intestines. The diagrams have been drawn on the human body and also labeled. Each of the organs in your body has an important job to do. Draw an arrow to match the organ to its important job. Lungs take in air so that we can breathe. Stomach and intestines get your nutrients from your food. Brain helps you think. Heart pushes blood around the body. You need to look after your organs so that they keep working well for a long time. Complete these sentences. To keep your whole body healthy, you need to take regular exercise. To keep your lungs working well, always try to breathe clean air. A healthy diet will be good for all your body. Animal groups and different life cycles. We group animals into six groups. For each group, draw one animal. Mammals, an example would be an elephant. Reptiles, it could be a lizard. Birds, there are pigeons or sparrows. Insects, a housefly. Amphibian, it's a frog. Fish is a fish that you normally see. All animals have a life cycle. A life cycle diagram shows us the stages of growing. Here is the life cycle of a horse. The baby horse is called a foal. The foal stays with its mother. After two years, the foal is a young horse. After five years old, we call the horse an adult. Look at the life cycle diagram of the horse. Now answer these questions. What are the three stages in the life of a horse? Foal, young horse and adult. The foal is small. Is it very similar to its parents or is it very different? It's very similar to its parents. Why does the young foal stay with its mother? It stays with its mother for protection, for food, for milk and warmth. Mammals have young ones directly, but birds, insects, amphibians and reptiles, they lay eggs. This is the life cycle of a reptile, the turtle. Put these sentences in the right order to describe this life cycle. The young turtle grows to become an adult. Baby turtles start to grow. The adult lays eggs close to the sea. Baby turtles hatch. The correct order is the adult lays eggs close to the sea. Baby turtles hatch. Then the baby turtles start to grow. The young turtle becomes to become an adult. The mother turtle lays the eggs in the beach and swims away. Later, the young turtles hatch at night and go into the sea. Why do they hatch at night? Turtle egg hatches at night to avoid being eaten by other animals. Food chains. A food chain shows how energy passes from one living thing to another. Look at these living things. Draw one of the food chains in the box below. Make sure the arrows point the right way. Plant is being eaten by a beetle, beetle being eaten by a chicken, and chicken is being eaten by a lion. Plant being eaten by a rabbit, rabbit being eaten by a lion, plant being eaten by a mouse, and a mouse being eaten by a lion.
The picture shows some plants and animals living in different places. Use the words and arrows to draw a food chain for these places. In a forest, a plant is being eaten by a caterpillar, then the frog eats the caterpillar, finally the hawk eats the frog. In a desert, there are these animals. The order would be the plant is being eaten by a mouse, snake eats the mouse, and the eagle eats the snake. In the sea, plant is being eaten by a fish and the fish is being eaten by a shark. Why does each food chain start with a plant? Each food chain starts with a plant because this is a producer that gets its energy from the sun. Put each animal in a food chain with other living things. Draw and label the other living things. So the living things already given are a rabbit, caterpillar and fish. You need to find out the other living things that form the food chain with these, each of these animals. The first food chain starts with a plant that is a producer. The rabbit eats the plant which is a consumer and then a fox eats the rabbit which is also a consumer. Next. Caterpillar eats the plant and then the bird eats the caterpillar. Fish eats the seaweed and whale eats the fish. Fossils. Fossils show us what a living thing looked like when it was alive. Complete the following table. In the table, the first diagram is of a fish. It must have lived in water or river or lake. Next one is a turtle. It must have lived on land and sea. Fish. It was living in water, sea or lake or a river. Next one is a spider. It lived in a forest or amongst rocks. Fossils are made when a living thing is quickly buried in mud or clay. More mud and rocks buries the living thing deeper. Slowly the mud turns to rock. The fish is buried for many, many years. The soft parts disappear but the hard parts make an impression. In the left box, draw layers of rock and clay burying this dead fish. In the right box, draw the fossil which might form over many years. Look at the fossil. What animal could this be? It could be an elephant, rhinosaurus, mammoth or any one of these. Draw what the animal might have looked like when it was alive. So you need to draw the animal which you have written as the answer. Look at these fossil teeth. What kind of animal might this be? It could be a carnivore. We don't know which exactly but a carnivore maybe a lion or a tiger. Why do you think that? Sharp teeth or teeth for biting. Since they have very sharp teeth, it is a carnivore. 